My name is Jay Cotton. I am the lead application performance tech lead for the Kroger and Kroger Company. Kroger about five years ago went on a very aggressive approach to change our digital presence to the world. We had very little, almost none, and it was a essentially a rebirth for us. We had to start from scratch. We took the steps forward to essentially reinvent ourselves. Through that reinvention process, there came a lot of changes and a lot of things that we hadn't really thought of that we needed to do to move forward. And that's when I was brought in and when we started investigating additional monitoring tools and different ways that we could actually put things inside of our infrastructure. So we are affectionately known as the Captain America team. It's very important to build bridges inside the IT community. Far too often there are bridges that are broken down and your network team say one thing and your database team say another thing. And nobody's talking the same language and you got developers and infighting and nothing is working, nothing is going well. The main goal of the Captain America Truth and Justice team was to bring that common lingo to the teams to make sure everybody was talking together and we got to resolutions of issues faster. We wanted to make sure we looked at all the products that were in space. Dynatrace was a clear winner. The whole idea between AI, the AI operations, being able to alert teams automatically, not having to set up the alerts, not having to do the things that we need to do, not having to maintain 15 different kinds of agents depending on technologies. When I'm on the monitoring team and we're trying to make sure we can monitor the new technologies, now I have 16 different kinds of agents to monitor all the different technologies. With Dynatrace, I just have one agent. With new oncoming technologies, you need to keep developers engaged and developers doing new things. The second that you make them stop, I have to figure out a solution and figure out a way to monitor what they're building and what they're doing, it slows them down. Dynatrace has helped us move forward fast. I am a completely in an enablement team now. Our team is two people and we're staying up on top of work. We don't have any, we're not working late hours. We're able to do what we need to do. We're able to provide that value. I don't have to be involved. The other teams don't have to be involved. It's seamless, it's super documented and it takes teams less than 30 seconds to fix. So it's fantastic. And the teams are allowed to self-serve. It's been absolutely smooth and my job's gotten so much better and so much more relaxing. We brought in Dynatrace One for a premium offering. I now do onboarding, I do a half an hour, I sit down with the team, I tell them about functionality, capabilities, I tell them what's out and available and show them what their code looks like and how their code is running and how different things are there. And there's this premium support offering, there's the live chat. When you have questions, go talk to the live chat, they're there to help. And they have these one hour coaching sessions and they come out of them with their foot on the gas and they go. It enables us to go and enables us to move. Primarily hybrid cloud right now, but it's gonna be multi hybrid cloud. So we're going, we're talking about Azure, we're talking about GCP, we're talking about keeping things on-prem because you're gonna to have to keep things on-prem. Being able to utilize that new AI2 engine and see what it provides and see how the extra stuff gets a little bit deeper, some of the custom metrics, some of the networking metrics, being able to marry all that stuff together into a single platform and get to closer to a single pane of glass will be fantastic and it will, it will absolutely proliferate throughout the entire environment and the entire organization. It'll be huge.